Hey everyone, so welcome to day three of the Week in the Life of a Music Student series. Today is going to be a day filled with a bunch of practicing, performances, and also class. So let's head to the first destination, the practice room. There's always something about Montreal and the city always being under construction. Bruh. I don't know if um, the construction work will be finished by the time I graduate, actually. So I'm currently listening to the recording of my performance on Saturday for the class concert, and I'm seeing which parts I think I need to improve on, or some parts that I had some wrong notes or mistakes, and correcting them. Ooh. So just now I missed the uh, double note over here. I still sometimes can't do it, so I need to I need to practice that part a lot. All right, so after this practice session, we now have class, more specifically, music history class. This course covers the era of the modern piano, which basically talks about a bunch of keyboard repertoire from the 1850s onwards. And as you can see over here in the McGill page, this can be one of the requirements for my piano performance degree. For today's class, we're covering a bit about American transcendentalism in music. Okay, so it's time for rehearsal right now. It's around 4 p.m. and I think it's supposed to be here. So this is Tana Hall, which is one of McGill's music concert halls. I've arrived early because we can sign up for a rehearsal slot before the concert. So this is my time, as you can see where I'm <laughs> warming up and also testing out how the piano feels, which is really useful. Surprisingly though, not all students actually sign up for the rehearsal slots though. All right, so we're just going to go backstage and see what it's like there. So this is the backstage area. I'm near the end of the concert program, so I'll be waiting here for a while. <laughs> I like how there's a microwave here too. There's also a mini video feed which shows what's happening on stage. But since I'm waiting here right now, it's like 5.43 p.m. I'm just doing the paper I was assigned earlier in today's class. <laughs> it's also a good way to calm my nerves for the upcoming performance. This way, how are you? Okay. Yeah, All right. I'm going to the metro. Oh, yeah, this, dude, this is nice. Oh, yeah, this is Xiao, by the way. <laughs> I just had a haircut, it's a bit cold, yeah, so that's why I'm. Uh... And we're coming back from the student soloist concert. Ah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was um, that was that was interesting. Oh, yeah, it was it was it was kind of funny because in the middle of my list piece, yeah, yeah. I made one wrong note, and my teacher yeah. <laughs> was sitting up stage, and then yeah, yeah. She, she was like, "Ay, oish, oish. <laughs> So yeah, I, was, uh, I nearly played another wrong note because of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. No. So, I don't know, but the yeah. funniest is that when you went on, oh yeah, she was like, "Mask, oh, yeah, yeah, mask." Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then I realized that the chair was too low, so I spent another 20 seconds trying yeah, to pull yeah, yeah. the chair up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but hey, we got a good recording. I think it's gonna be very, how do you say, huh? very significant, very memorable, uh, valuable after oh, yeah? a long time. After oh, yeah. Years, we look back, and for me, it's, I think, honestly, it's the first time ever I play my own piece. Oh, probably, yeah, yeah. That's first time, and also first time at Gil concerts. And also my first ever formal concert in 10 years. Wow, really? Probably 10 years, yes, yes. Yeah, your, your con no, but that was really good. Like, yeah. you improvised the two Scarlatti's together. <laughs> <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> Man, the improvisation had some uh, dissonance. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was really new. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Oh, I, I was just having yeah. fun, you know, because I want to, the message I want to give is that don't yeah. be afraid of mistakes. Embrace uh, yeah. mistakes. Music is not about having a perfect, you know, 
performance with no mistakes. Yeah. It's about so many people get so nervous about that, yeah? And it's also like if you make a mistake, like whatever. Yeah. But if you pause and like or make a expression, yeah, yeah. then it's like, oh, okay, he made a mistake. But otherwise, sometimes you just don't even notice it. Exactly. And yeah, so now that I'm back home, that's it for day three of this seven day series. Now tomorrow is gonna be a really fun day. We're gonna be interviewing a composition professor, asking him for advice on what they look for in the audition submission process. And we're also going to have a really uh, interesting concert. You're not going to want to miss it. Check this video out over here. As always, like, subscribe, and see you tomorrow.